Yes, today we are going to make salmon on croute, and that is salmon wrapped in puff pastry. What we're doing with our salmon is we have some really nice salmon fillets, wild salmon fillets, and then we have a mixture of fresh spinach and gruyere, which is goat cheese, and we grated some gruyere in there, and then we mixed in some creme fraiche. And creme fraiche is almost, it's not sour cream, but it's a mixture of maybe like, uh, it's got a tartness like buttermilk and uh, it's got a lot of fat in it. It's got um, like a heavy cream kind of texture and it'll give it that little tanginess. And then we're gonna wrap it in the puff pastry and then we're gonna put it in the oven. What we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the salmon on croute and we're gonna do this backwards. Okay, here is your puff pastry and what I did was you take, you just get frozen puff pastry sheets and put a little flour on your chopping board and you just roll it out and you want it to be about this thick. And then we're gonna take our spinach mixture and we're gonna put that down first like this. And what you do is you look at the size of the piece of salmon you have and you just kind of judge from that. Um, honestly, I think the more spinach and gruyere and creme fraiche you have, the better. I also added some fresh tarragon. Uh, you can add dill, which goes really well with salmon, but I like to kind of think out the box and tarragon goes really well with salmon and I'm a tarragon fan. This is the top, this is the bottom. Take the puff pastry and you're gonna overlap it like this. And then you're gonna take the sides and then you fold them in like this. And don't worry that it's not pretty because no one's gonna see this. Like I said, this is the bottom. And then we're ready to put some egg wash on it. Actually, it's just beaten eggs. I have two eggs in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a spoon instead of a pastry brush because we have a lot of rough edges and it's gonna be hard to brush it. So this goes faster for me. And actually you can use your hands if you don't mind getting your hands in there. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna seal the puff pastry and it's also gonna brown the puff pastry. Then we flip it over. See, and there's your top. If you have a little uh, thin part right there you just kind of pull it together and then the egg is also going to act as like a sealant like glue so it won't come through okay and it's ready to be vented and go in the oven so this was baked at 400 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes but where you live your oven may be different it depends on if it's electric or gas or if you're in high altitude or if you're below sea level like I used to be when I lived in New Orleans and it's just all a factor. So what you have to do is use your senses again and look at, this is what you want to see. You want the brown around the edges and you want to see that flaky crust. Mm -hmm. 